Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome to Steel Division Normandy 44. So I've been wanting to play this game for a while. I had intended to play it at launch, but unfortunately I was sick that week, so we weren't able to do it. However, we have been afforded the opportunity to play it now as we are in between Hearts of Iron series, as I'm currently working on the mod for our next series, you know, where we're going to continue that Ottoman Empire uh, series into World War II. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to be doing that and I'm still working on the mod, guys. But while we're waiting, I wanted to have some videos up, so I decided we'll go ahead and play a little bit of Steel Division. So if you haven't heard of Steel Division, it's a uh, World War II real-time strategy game. It's not a base building real time strategy game. If it was, I wouldn't be playing it. I don't really like base building RTS uh, games. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit different. It's not quite uh, It's not quite like uh, close combat where you just bring the divisions, the units that you have and that's all you got. It's a little bit differently. You use like a point system. We'll, we'll be seeing that here in a second. Uh, it is a paradox game as in it's published by them. However, it is developed by Eugene Systems. So uh, it's not like your traditional uh, paradox game. Very different. So I've really been enjoying the game uh, thus far. Um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. This is well so what we're gonna do this one I was gonna start out multiplayer I have I haven't played in quite a while uh, you know I had been playing during the beta but I haven't actually even played much at all uh, since it's uh, officially launched here uh, so we're instead of doing a multiplayer game where I'm gonna get it handed to me which I probably would have got it handed to me anyways <laughs> instead of doing a multiplayer game we're just gonna do uh, we're gonna do a solo skirmish uh, and we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second the first thing I want to show you guys is the battle group that we're gonna be using uh, these are the battle groups here these are the ones I have designed there's a lot of them guys uh, the battle groups control a lot of things, like such as uh, you know how many uh, units you get out of in here. These are the total units. Also, how many points you're going to be getting. Uh, I forget what they call it. Um, yeah, I don't remember requisition points or something like that. I, I, for, I don't recall. But uh, this is how many you get for each phase because there's three different phases, uh, A, B, and C. Um, and I have. I have two for each uh, for Axis and Allies right now, but there's a lot of different division designs here, or battle groups, I guess is what they call them. I'm still in Hearts of Iron mode. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to be using the uh, Praetorian Spearhead. This is the third armored spearhead one. Um, I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. Uh, it has uh, one major weakness. They are the weakest battle group in Phase A. Nothing gets lower than this on the, the amount of points that they get. Uh, and you know for each little tick is the lowest there's nobody even close to this so uh, it's it's pretty they're pretty bad when it comes to phase a phase B they pick it up a little bit but phase C they are tied for being the best one in phase C it is an armor division uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we're gonna be using in this skirmish here let's go ahead and uh, edit it here and see what we got uh, so yeah uh, on the on the recon as you see we have a lot of recon slots that I'm not using I don't really use recon that much I use I make use of them but I try not to have them die uh, so I think eight should be enough. I've never found myself running out of recon uh, because uh, they're really good for sight. That's really what they're for. And I try and keep them out of combat if at all possible. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have uh, two, these two here, one for phase A, one for phase B. Uh, over here in infantry, uh, we're making use of all our infantry slots, uh, pretty much just rifle uh, rifle uh, squads. Uh, we do have some leaders as well. The leaders give some a really good bonuses. You want to have those. And then we also have our uh, machine gun. Uh, rifle squad here. Uh, they have a 7.62 millimeter Browning uh, M19 one nighter Alpha 6. Uh, so yeah, that's you know they still got 10 here, just like these ones. If you want to see what kind of weapons rocking here, the nice one thing about these guys is they have bazookas, uh, which can be very effective against any uh, armored uh, up close, anyways. Uh, so this is what we're rocking infantry, pretty basic. I don't have, I'm not using a lot of the uh, different uh, you know things that we could could make use of like engineers and such. I don't really feel like we need them. You also notice that they don't have they don't have any flamethrowers or really elite units uh, in the third armored. Uh, over here in tanks, this is really where third armor excels. We have a bunch of tanks, guys. A lot of a lot of really really good tanks as well um, these jumbos are excellent so are the m4 alpha threes uh, so yeah we're gonna get these all in phase C but we do have a few tanks in phase a as well uh, and then yeah we got phase B ones too we got a little bit of for every phase we should be able to uh, you know rock it when it comes to the the armor uh, support this is what we got going for the support over here you know we got some ammo trucks and, and whatnot and some some leader units should help get some uh, you know uh, leader benefits uh, anti-tank this is really where third armor is weak here we do not have a lot of slots um, so we just don't have a lot available to us and they don't have everything's towed. Uh, they don't have any self-propelled anti-tanks, you know, tank destroyers. So that's unfortunate. Uh, we have some coming in each phase though. Uh, anti-air, uh, you know, a couple air anti-air units here to kind of assist us uh, because we don't have any fighters. That's the reason why I put so many in here because if we don't have any fighters uh, with this uh, battle group, artillery, lots of artillery, filled it all the way out. I love my artillery. Yeah, we got some great stuff here. Uh, you guys will see us make use of this. Uh, and then our air force. Uh, we only have three slots. Uh, Third armor doesn't get very many uh, planes. Uh, so we got one for phase A. Uh, this is the light rocket, a phase B uh, medium rocket thunderbolt. And then of course we have the lightnings here for the heavy bomber once we get into phase C. As you can see, 
see no fighters, so we have no way to destroy uh, enemy aircraft. Uh, we can only, you know, repel them with the anti-air. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what we're, we're rocking with here. This is what we're going to be making use of. Uh, let's just go and quit this. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and play ourselves a skirmish mode. Uh, we're going to be playing Conquest. There's two modes, Destruction and Conquest. Uh, you know, Destruction, you focus on destroying units. We will play on... Uh, you know what? We'll just play on Pegasus Bridge. Why not? It's already set to here anyway. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a four versus four. four uh, Axis versus allies. Uh, yeah, we're going to do... Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we'll do 500 points starting. I was thinking about 2,500. Uh, we're going to leave all of this as... You know what? Actually, let's bring this down to 1,500 points, guys, because uh, 2,000 sometimes can take a really, really long time uh, to finish it up. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put 1,500 points here, and then I'm going to go ahead and get these designed over here. All right, guys, so we got this set up here. Uh, one thing I really hate about this, the way this works, is that you can't just specifically pick the divisions that you want uh, to have in the match uh, unless you're, you know, specifically picking their battle groups that you have designed yourself. Uh, yeah, there's no other way to do it. You just select the, you know, the difficulty and then it just randomly picks one. So it's kind of a difficult to get the exact ones you get, you, you want if you're not uh, actually using uh, your own design battle groups, which I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Um, so uh, this is what we're going to be rocking with on our side. We're going to have the 101st Airborne. Uh, we're going to have the Guards Armored and we're going to have the 3rd Canadian Infantry. Uh, so we've got, a, you know, a little bit of variety here. You know, two armor, uh, one airborne and one infantry. Uh, over here on the enemy side, uh, we've also given them two panzer divisions. They have the 21 panzer and then they have the SS panzer. Uh, we've given them an infantry division, uh, 352 infantry, and then we give them the uh, panzer grenaders, which are their mechanized troops. Uh, so they've got even more variety. Um, they don't, you know, I guess, well, instead of having airborne, we have a uh, uh, mechanized. So I think this should be a pretty good match. Uh, I think they, they uh, added these up. They have the uh, benefit, a small benefit in both phase A and B. It's like five points when you add these up. So it's just a really small, uh, you know, uh, benefit there. So not much, uh, but there's a much bigger divide in phase uh, C, um, might largely due to me. Uh, in phase C, we will, uh, you know, I think we have like 20 points more than them uh, overall. So, uh, you know, the first couple phases might be a bit rough, especially for us because we're kind of weak in those phases uh but this should be a lot of fun guys let's go ahead and uh launch this everything's looking good uh so i would like to say that you know obviously i'm not as good at this in this game as i am in you know like a lot of paradox games uh whether it's heart of iron europe universal i just don't have the experience with it just yet uh so you know hopefully we don't lose but you know we should have a bit of fun here and another thing i wanted to add on here because uh, it's a new series and what new series we often get a lot of new people uh coming on the channel and one thing that uh, I, you know I notice I get a lot of uh, a lot of people you know mentioning is that I play a little bit different. Um, I play a little bit slower um, than some other players because you know I'm, I'm not the uh, you know click a thousand times per minute type of uh, player and rushing to the end. I, I don't really understand playing that way, anyways. Uh, you know if you're just rushing to win the match, maybe in multiplayer of course, but uh, you know I, I don't understand like why you're rushing to to win. Uh, it doesn't seem all that enjoyable to me. So I have a lot more fun playing a bit slower. I like talking about strategy strategy and tactics and just trying to enjoy the game kicking back and enjoying the game so probably gonna be playing much on normal just the beginning when we're rushing to get into the the battle uh, but I find that normal is just too quick in this game you don't have uh, time to manage the entire front uh, I have a lot of problems with that actually uh, because yeah you'll be looking at one thing and then over here you're you're fucking losing and all your it's so easy to lose all of your units on a, somewhere where you're not paying attention uh, so yeah let's let's go ahead and get started here guys um, we're kind of in a crappy position uh, we've got an ally over here. Um, they're probably gonna move up this road, and I don't. I'm guessing they're gonna. Yeah, here we go. We got another road over here. They're gonna move up this way. Uh, so that's gonna be their side over there. I'm not entirely sure which uh, division this is. Perhaps the armor division. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, over here we have uh, another ally. I think this is just one right here. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. This might actually be the armor one. Uh, but yeah, we've got another division over here. They're going to be moving up these two roads, uh, covering this area here. And then this division is going to be moving up this road. They have a few to go up there, too. It looks like that one's going to be largely insecure or unsecure. And they have one division of Cromwell, or one division, one unit, uh, Cromwell 5, uh, over here to assist us. Uh, this is where we're going to be largely going up, this road here. I might put a few over here as well, because I think this is going to be our entire area here. Uh, but we're going to be trying to defend these the city here. I, we might be able to get over to this city. Uh, yeah, we're not, this is too far back from the front. So we're going to be attempting to take this, this city, um, right here. We're going to get our units up there as quickly as possible. We're also going to secure this road here. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that yet. Maybe going into, uh, these, uh, this tree line here. That's what I'm thinking. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and get our units assigned first. Uh, we're going to get a couple scout units. Uh, we're going to put them both on this road. It would probably be for the best. I think that's the closest way. Yeah, we're going to put them both on this road here. Uh, we'll get our scouts up on the front because the scouts are incredibly quick in their jeeps. Uh, so let's get them both uh, put up on the front there. Uh, they're going to be trying to secure uh, a good location for spotting. Um, you know, that's going to be the first thing we're going to be doing with them. Uh, with our tank units, I think we're just going to use one tank unit, guys. That's what I'm thinking. Um, these are both the same, with the exception that one's a leader unit. So, of course, we're going to want to go ahead and get that guy. Uh, let's put him uh, up here on this front, though. The tanks are, you know, a bit slower than some of the other uh, divisions or other units. I'm, I'm just going to be in Hearts of Iron mode this entire time, calling everything divisions and whatnot. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get ourselves an anti-tank as well. Definitely want to get those guys. Uh, we'll put them in the back over here. Uh, and let's go ahead and get ourselves some... I'm tempting to do some artillery, too. Uh, but let's see what we got after we get our infantry uh, first. We definitely want to get quite a few infantry. Uh, I'm thinking like three infantry units and then a, a leader unit in addition to that. Uh, if I can get them placed over here. Come on. All right, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get a leader unit as well. And we'll see what we have left after that. It looks like we're, we're still sitting on 105. That might be enough for us to get ourselves some artillery. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves an artillery unit. I think that would probably be a good idea. Having that uh, right here in the get-go would be really, really useful. Um, let's go ahead and get our units going um, right before we uh, press the launch battle button. Uh, so the recon unit, trying to find where the best location is going to be for this guy. Uh, we don't want him on the front because he'll die. Uh, I'm thinking maybe on this tree line here would give him good spotting. Uh, yeah, that's probably where we're going to attempt to go, maybe into this uh, right here. Um, yeah, that, that'll probably be the best. Uh, and then we're probably going to get one coming over here uh, in addition to that, or maybe that tree line. They might be able to get there. Yeah, let's go and put one of them going over there. Um, we're going to have them move fast so they can get there as quickly as possible, uh, just racing to the front. Uh, it's going to be difficult for us to uh, you know, see where we're going here because we've got all of our units. I don't usually have all my units that close together. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go to this tree line. That's what I'm thinking. We could put them into the one of the houses, but I don't really want them on the front fighting. I kind of want them in the, in the back here. Okay, excellent. So there's our, our two recon units. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, figure out where we want to put our tank. This is the only tank we have for this uh, initial um, startup here. I think the tank's going to need to be on the road. Yeah, let's put them over here. Let's get them in the back. Um, and then artillery. We'll, we'll do the artillery last. Uh, let's go and get our infantry going uh, over here first. Uh, we will place uh, infantry over here. Uh, let's get one going that way. Uh, probably, I think we have three infantry divisions. So we're going to at least want one over here to help cover this. We're probably going to have two up here. Uh, one to cover uh, a house over here and one to cover a house on this side. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're also going to try and get that uh, that officer unit over there. Okay, and let's make sure I haven't signed this guy yet. Uh, and hopefully we can get over to this front uh, quickly. We may have to readjust this, you know, if we see that the enemy is pushing up uh, faster than us. Then, yeah, we'll have to adjust it a bit. Uh, which one's this? This is our... Uh, regular infantry, so yeah, they're going to be placed over and see where the front's at. I don't know that they'll be able to make it there. Let's go here for right now. Uh, we'll see how far we can get up there. Uh, the artillery, um, let's put the artillery right here. And then the last one is the anti-tank, I believe. No, we haven't done our officers either. Let me see here. All right, let's get the anti-tanks. Where it would be a good location for the anti-tanks? If we put them in the we're on the road here, then yeah, they'll build a, hmm, you know what, let's try and see what they're looking at on field of view here. So, yeah, there's really not a good location for them to cover any of this area here. Maybe the, our best bet will be to put them out here in the, uh, out here in the fields. Yeah, there's just not a lot of coverage here, which will be a good thing for our divisions as well, guys. That would actually be a good thing. Maybe what we need to do... Okay, I know what we're going to do. We're going to put them over here, guys. Uh, they can cover this this road here because we don't really have a lot over here right now. So I think it would probably be a good idea to make sure that we're uh, covering that. I uh, already moved the artillery. I think we just have the officer unit that needs to get moved, and then we are ready to go. Uh, here we go right here. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Uh, he's going to be going... Let's see, we're going to have a dude in this over here. One of these houses, we're going to have a dude in one of these houses. Uh, so let's just move him in towards his back here. He'll be covering this area, making sure that we get a nice, uh, you know, leader benefit for all our troops. So I think we're ready to go. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Let's go ahead and launch the battle. Uh, like I said, we'll keep it on normal speed uh, in this initial phase here, this, while we're uh, getting all our units going. And it seems that, okay, he's moving. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and get to the front as quickly as possible. Remember, uh, we are extremely weak in uh, phase A. Uh, not very good, so we are not going to be trying to push forward unless we see an opening. Uh, we're going to try and stay on the defense. 
Uh, they're probably going to have a massive number of infantry. Well, we don't really know uh, which battle group we're going to be facing. Uh, but they're probably going to outnumber me uh, significantly. So... Uh, we're probably not going to push forward unless unless I see opening, as I said. Uh, I think what we're probably going to end up doing is uh, staying on the defense until we get to later later phases where we have a little bit more points for, uh, you know, uh, buying units and such. Uh, and I think we're just about there. Let's go and move over to slow uh, so I can figure out where I want to get these guys assigned. Where are they going? They're going all the way up there. These guys are going over here. That's not going to be far enough. Let's get them going over here. Oh, no, no, no. We want them in the tree line, don't we? Hold up. Let's put them over here. And where are these guys going? They're almost there. They're going to be covering... Uh, you know what? We're going to put them over here. Put them right there. Okay, so these guys are just about secured. Let's go ahead and boot this other bullet time so I can get all my units deployed where we want them. Uh, let's see where we're going to want these guys. Uh, they get really good coverage here. They can cover all that way down the road. Um, yeah, I think this is good. I think we're going to put them right here on... Yeah, let's deploy them right here. Excellent. Uh, so I don't know if I said this before, but, and wait a minute, is that the leader unit? Did I assign? Hmm. No, that's not the leader unit. What am I thinking? All right. Uh, so they all have uh, uh, that there, and that made me think that was the leader unit. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have these guys cover the tree line right there. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, and if any uh, tanks move over here uh, close by, then we'll be able to, uh, uh, you know, we'll be able to use our, our uh, bazookas to destroy them. All right. So these guys are currently deploying to right there. Uh, I think we need to get these guys going forward a little bit. We seem to have a bit of an opening here. Uh, this house is destroyed, so it would not be the best location uh, for us to station ourselves. Uh, but it's right on the corner here, which is something I like. Uh, yeah, but that's a terrible house. Okay, I think what we'll do is probably station in this house right here. Yeah, that'll work. Let's go ahead and put them over there. Uh, these guys here. Uh, the, I think that's our commander unit. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, that's the commander unit. Okay, so the uh, commander unit is going to be uh, right here, I believe. Let me just double check this real quick. Um, yeah, these guys are going over there. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and have these this unit here uh, deploy. They're going to be hanging out in one of these buildings here. Uh, one of the things I love about our, our uh, battle group, and I don't know if I stated this before, is the fact that, uh, you know, we get these, uh, uh, these trucks here, these armored trucks. Uh, for all of our units, and we can make use of them after we deploy them. So that's really, really cool. So we have a bit of points here. We got our first tick. Uh, I think we should probably make use of them for, uh, well, hmm, we need another tank. We can't really afford it yet. We'll just wait. We're going to hold on to those points for now. Uh, I think it'll be fine. Uh, let's get this tank moving over here. Where are they going? Okay, they're still going over here. Uh, let's get these guys going into the forest uh, somewhere uh, where we got a green here. The green is good, um, good coverage. While the yellow is okay, and if it's gray, then there you're not getting any uh, any coverage. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Get all our troops moving over here. Uh, so uh, we now have our leaders out into that building. Uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, this this uh, truck moving somewhere. Uh, we want good coverage here. What I'm thinking is putting them out here. Uh, yeah, let's put them over. Let me just see if we can get any good coverage if we were right here. We could. All right, uh, we'll put one over here though. Let's have them go over there. And then we're going to have one come over here into this field. We need coverage down this way as well. Um, but we have these two trucks here, so that'll be fine. All right, excellent. So everybody should be uh, moving. And uh, let's go ahead and get these uh, guys out of their truck. I'm not entirely sure what we'll do with this truck just yet. I'm thinking we'll probably put them uh, over here to cover down that road. Uh, hopefully no tanks move down that road. We'll be in a bit of a pickle if they do. All right, let's uh, speed it up. Um, oh, okay, we have two leader units. I thought we only had one. Huh, I must have grabbed the wrong divisions. Let me just see here. Yeah, I might have grabbed two leaders on accident. All right, let me just slow this down. That means that we're going to need another rifle unit over here. I mean, it's okay that we got the leaders. That's not exactly what I wanted. Uh, but, you know, it'll be fine. We do have some units moving down here, as you guys can see. I was hoping to get a little bit further. I don't know that we're going to. Um, we need to secure that um, uh, house as well. Uh, let's see if we can get there. Uh, let's, let's just put it into this one. I think that'll probably be the best bet. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go and move, move back over to very slow. Uh, I hope I didn't do that with all the units. That would be uh, really bad. Uh, if we got a bunch of uh, leader units. I could have swore I was clicking on the right thing. Maybe I wasn't. All right, we got these guys ready. Uh, let's go ahead and have... I think they're going... Where are these guys going? I want them to secure this. So go ahead and deploy right now. Yeah, we got a bunch of leader units. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. My bad. All right, well, that's not a terrible thing. Um, leader units are good as well, uh, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted infantry units, so uh, I don't know how I... Oh, damn, I don't know what I was doing there. I could have swore I was clicking on the rifles. Well, whatever. It's fine. We've got a crap ton of leader units. Let's go ahead and deploy these guys as well. It looks like they're currently shooting at us, 
Let's go ahead and get them deployed into that uh, building. Yeah, that sucks. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. My bad, guys. I got a bunch of leaders. Awesome. Okay, whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and have these guys. I don't think they'll be able to... No, we don't want them shooting at us. Uh, where are these guys going to be at? We're going to put them over here, I think. Yeah, right there. We'll be fine. All right, excellent. Um, these guys are going to cover this road here. We can see that they are currently pushing forward on this road here. Don't know who's there. Um, and let's go ahead and deploy these guys as well. What are we looking at over here? Should be able to cover this entire area here. Um, and yeah, you guys are going to cover... Yeah, that forest line. All right, so we have some troops coming down the road here. Uh, where are our, is our artillery? Let's just slow this down, make sure that we can... Yes, we can fire on them. So let's go ahead and get the artillery laying a bit of fire down on that. Uh, that's just some uh, leader units right there. Uh, we have our first tank unit over here. Can we get them destroyed? Well, they, we should be able to get them destroyed when they come down the road. We don't really know how good they are. I know that they're about to start blasting somebody. Um, is it that? Yep, they're about to blast them. Get out of there, guys. Get out of there. I don't know why they stopped to shoot at them. Um, yeah, that is not good. They're about to get destroyed, that, that truck unit. All right, well, there's nothing to be done about it. Can they hit this unit? No, they cannot. Awesome. Um, and I'm really irritated that I did that with the leaders. Well, whatever. It's my bad, guys. I made a mistake there. Uh, we'll get it fixed by getting some more uh, troops over here. Uh, what sucks is that, hmm, I think we're going to have to send them over this way. Uh, we just don't have the infantry over here right now. Uh, well, you know what? We can get another one. Yeah, it just sucks because now we're in a position where we can't get the tanks that I really wanted to get. All right, let's go ahead and move over to very slow. They got destroyed there. I saw that coming. Um, I wanted them over here behind this building where they wouldn't have got attacked, but that didn't happen. Uh, we pinned down an uh, infantry unit over here, enemy infantry unit, forced them uh, back. They're going to have to retreat. Uh, this tank unit is still very much a threat. I wonder if our tank will be able to hit him. Yes, he can. All right, awesome. He's about to fire on him right now as we speak. Uh, get this Panzer destroyed. I don't... It looks like we're about equal on stats here. This is a Panzer 3H. Uh, so I can't tell you right now who's going to win this match. Um, yeah, I really don't know. I hate that we have this leader unit here that can't help with this if they decide to move forward. Uh, oh, he is firing on the wrong guy. You need to be firing on that tank, please? Damn. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. That sucks. All right, so let's go ahead and get a little bit more firepower on the uh, stronger infantry. We're already forcing these two to fall back. Uh, you know what? Can we hit them? Maybe. Maybe we can hit them before they retreat here. I don't know. Uh, no, nah, I don't know. I don't think so. All right, let's just have them uh, stay where they're at. Don't want them uh, pursuing them any further. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing okay on the defense. Things are all right. Let's take a look at where our allies are, are at right now. Let's just move this bullet time while we're not paying attention to our own units here. Uh, allies over here are, have secured this area. Uh, we are currently 52%, so we're, our score is ticking up. That's awesome. Holding this area pretty well as well. Uh, not enough divisions over here to hold this road, though. I have a feeling we're going to lose over there. Um, this road as well, we have some units uh, here helping out the uh, Cromwell. Uh, which means that the troops aren't even going to come over here. All right, well, that's fine. Like I said, I want to stay on the defense for right now. Uh, if I do push forward anywhere, it's going to be on this front. I want to take more of these buildings over here. Uh, our allies have pushed forward over here as well, and we're secured all this. Awesome. So we are doing excellent so far. Uh, let's hope that that continues. Uh, our our uh, leader uh, unit here is taking some casualties. Already lost one guy, unfortunately. I, man, I'm so frustrated that I did that. Um, I made that mistake. Uh, these, I mean, these guys are going to give us large bonuses all throughout this area, which is great. Um, having these leader units here, uh, but it's not not what I wanted at all, guys. Um, not at all. So where are these guys going? They're going right up there. All right, excellent. Uh, we have another truck here that we didn't make use of. Let's go ahead and get them going. Uh, probably right here is what I'm thinking. They can kind of secure all this area. We got two trucks here. Uh, you know, they give us a little bit of a, a field of fire here. Uh, in case any infantry come, of course, if tanks come, they're going to tear us up. But we do have this anti tank on this side. Lost another guy here. Um, damn, that's unfortunate. Is our artillery firing? They should be. Um, yeah, we got them falling back. Let's go ahead and start firing on this uh, unit over here. Uh, where are these guys? They're going to go. I think they're going to have to go right up here. Um, let's put them over here. Well, the infantry come to the back. Um, or no, they can actually occupy that building there. Yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. Let's go ahead and have them uh, empty out right here. Unload their passengers. Uh, we'll have this uh, division go into this building. This one will come into the back here. Oh, uh, looks like they died. Damn it. All right, well, that sucks. Well, we got more infantry coming in there now. Uh, and remember, we still got this tank unit over here that we did not destroy yet. So we do have to be concerned about them when it comes to uh, our uh, truck here. We don't want to lose our truck again. That would not be good. 
Um, I really want to get, can we get over here? Like, let's use, let's go fast. And I just want to secure this road with this truck here. I know that they can't, actually, we don't really need to do that, unless they come through the forest. Hmm. Yeah, I think it probably would be good to have the truck there. Just in case they come through the forest area, need any infantry. We don't have to worry about tanks coming through there. Uh, we do have a bit more points here. Not enough to get the tank that I want, so we're going to save that for now. Um, these guys here are going to be covering uh, this road here. Uh, we're going to try to get them into that house if we can. we got our trucks currently pinning down anybody that comes up that way there, uh, which is awesome. We're going to go ahead and tell our, our artillery to stop firing. Um, unless they can hit them. No, they cannot. I think it wouldn't hurt us to move up a little bit further. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be good. Uh, so that Cromwell has been destroyed. That's going to allow the enemy to push over here. We're no longer getting points. We're at 50%. Uh, there's just, the reason why I'm not over here, guys, is there's just nowhere for us to be at. We've got one little forced, um, area, forested area here that we could put troops, and that's it. Uh, so I just don't, I just don't like that area until we get some, some more, uh, tanks to kind of push forward here. Uh, speaking of tanks, we can now, what happened here? Uh, looks like we destroyed, uh, enemy, uh, uh troop right there. Uh, let's go and get a tank going. We're going to get him going over to this side of things because uh, I feel like that's really where we need a tank. Um, we're going to put him I'll put him right here. And then we can push forward. If we if we have tanks, we can push forward. Uh, also, it looks like we can afford an, another infantry, so let's go and get these these riflemen that I fucking completely didn't... I can't believe I messed that up, guys. That was really my bad. Uh, and I'm still I'm like frustrated about it. Let's go ahead and push forward over here. Hopefully not run into any resistance, or if we do, I hope it's infantry and not tanks because, uh, yeah, our truck will get destroyed. Uh, looks like these guys took a little bit of firepower over here, or took a little bit of fire. Um, but they're okay. Uh, the little bar on the top, that's, that's basically their morale, uh, their suppression. Uh, once that gets all the way filled up, you know, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the game, just give tell you the mechanics a little bit. Uh, when this gets all the way filled up, that means they're going to retreat. They're going to fall back. Or they're going to attempt to anyway. Or they're going to get pinned down if they're infantry. Infantry will get pinned down, and uh, they won't move or fire anything. Uh, and if you move close to a pinned down infantry, as you see this unit here, if we were to get close enough to him, he would surrender. So that's a good way to get rid of units. Uh, so yeah, this, this is a really good position for our truck. Uh, we have uh, done a very good job. Uh, suppressing everybody there. Uh, now our tanks or our trucks gonna be firing on them. Come on over here and empty these troops out. Um, we're gonna put them into. I'm really tempted to put them in that building uh, right there, but we're gonna put them into uh, this one. I think it'd probably be the best location for right now. Or we could come over here. Yeah, let's go over here. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, and let's go ahead and get this truck over here, uh, covering there. Um, uh, we need another tank. Uh, let's bring this tank up a little bit further. And we're looking good. Like I said, we're probably going to stay on the defense uh, for phase A. Uh, you know, as long as we uh, we secure this area here, if our allies can push forward a little bit, then we can get it ticking, uh, you know, up. Uh, right now, we're sitting at 194 points. We need uh, 1,500, I believe, is what we have a set at. All right, so we have faced some resistance here. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, our artillery firing onto them. We can see that they now have some armored units coming down here um, from the south, which is going to be a problem. Uh, we can see them with our recon unit there. Uh, this is actually really bad. They might actually start firing on that recon unit there. Um, and we're not really able to do anything to secure this. What we need to do is go ahead and get this unit moving over here because they're taking fire right now, I believe. I believe that's what's happening, that these two are firing at them. Their transmission is damaged. All right, well, that's, that's really unfortunate. I wonder if we can get over here still. We'll have to see. Uh, we did get the uh, infantry unit here, so let's go ahead and deploy them. Get them deployed right there. Could also move them up over here as well, but they wouldn't have much support if we moved them over there. Um, yeah, I think that front's looking all right. Uh, artillery firing on them. Okay, excellent. Yeah, everything is looking good. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Oh, yeah, that's right I was going to do. I was going to get ourselves... Uh, no, no, we need a tank, don't we? Or do we have a tank coming? Yes, we do. We do have a tank coming. So I'm not entirely sure what we're going to use this next one for. I'm thinking some air support. Uh, we could definitely use some more air support. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Get ourselves more air support. So yeah, these guys, they're still able to move uh, with their transmission damage. They're probably just a lot slower. Uh, but moving here should secure them from uh, this armor uh, unit here. Uh, this armor unit's going to be under threat. I don't know. Yeah, we might be able to hit them if they come over here. Perhaps our anti-tank. We could move them up further. Yeah, and that would secure it a bit more. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be here momentarily. Let's try and move just a little bit. Just to get a little more coverage. Ah, oh, damn. So the scouts are, are taking casualties now. Uh, or they haven't taken any casualties, but they, they have been seen. Let's go and get them out of there. Have them fall back. Um, we'll have them fall back to over here, probably. But we'll have them first move here and then move over there. 
All right, excellent. Get them pulling back just a little bit uh, because, yeah, we don't want them being fired on right now. Uh, oh, okay, they're coming around the corner. Can they hit us? I don't know. Let me see here. We can't hit them yet. All right, they're going to be starting firing on them. Can't hit them with these guys either. Okay, so, yeah, this is the problem. They have already destroyed our truck, um, and we still cannot see them yet. They need to move further, a little bit further forward. Let's go ahead and slow this down because I haven't really taken a look at this front. Um, I believe our artillery should be still firing on them. Uh, oh, we need to get ourselves an ammo truck. Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, I was saving up for the uh, air support, but we need an ammo truck. So we'll get that. Let's go ahead and put these guys right there. Uh, make sure that our artillery is secured. Artillery, you know, they, they go through their uh, am ammunition pretty quick. Um, who are they currently firing on? The infantry here? That's what it looks like. Uh, let's see uh, if we can... Okay, we still have a truck there. Uh, I wonder if we can get those guys if we were to move forward a bit more. Let's attempt to. Let's see if moving forward will give us uh, you know, a little bit of sight on them where we can destroy them. All right, yeah, they're currently firing over here. I believe they can't hit them. No, they can't hit them. Can we get them? I don't know, guys. Uh, currently, infantry are engaging them as well. Should get them pushed back soon with our artillery support. Uh, this guy over here is also fighting some troops here. He's going to need a little bit of artillery support uh, as well. Uh, can we hit them yet? No, we cannot. Let's go ahead and move forward a bit more. I don't know when we're going to get to that point where we can hit them. If we even will, they're right there uh, on that tree line. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a bit difficult for us to hit them. Uh, where do we want to move the infantry division here? I'm really tempted to put them onto this tree line. Uh, you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's move them over here. Okay. Uh, we have 95 points. That's not enough uh, to get ourselves some air support just yet. We'll have to wait a bit more. We have forced these guys to fall back. Uh, these guys have taken heavy casualties as well. Uh, can we hit them? Yes, we can. So let's go and uh, start bombarding them a bit. They're, these guys are really uh, putting some force on our infantry here. Uh, we got a tank there. That's a problem. Uh, we have no way to combat them right now over here. No, we do not. Uh, and our tank could destroy them. So let's let me see here. Where could we hit them? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to use the tank. I don't really want to move the tank. I like its position, uh, but I don't think we have any other uh, way to deal with this unit. So let's go ahead and uh, have our tank sent over there to destroy him. We'll see how well this works. I have a feeling that our, our uh, dudes here are gonna take casualties. You know what? They could also destroy them with their bazooka. Let's see what happens here. We might not even need to move our tank there. I'm not entirely sure. We're just gonna see. Uh, yeah, they're taking heavy casualties, though. Uh, they're going to force them back soon. Maybe what we want to do is have our artillery start firing on them to make sure that they get pushed back. Can we fire on them? Yes, yes, we can. We are firing on them now. As we speak, we do have some planes overhead, uh, some bombers. That's unfortunate. That has pushed these guys back. Um, yeah, that's bad. Uh, we did force them to fall back, though, so there's that. All right, awesome. Uh, we did destroy one of their grenadiers over here. Um, we did lose our infantry. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, that really sucks. Uh, who are they destroying right now? Okay, they're trying to shoot us right there. Um, you know what we're going to have to do? Hmm. Oh, shit. Somebody. Oh, damn. All right. Our transmission is damaged. We took a hit from this tank over here. That's a problem. Uh, let's see if we can get... We're going to start shooting at these guys, see if we can get them pushed back. Uh, because we have no way to deal with them right now. We have nobody over here who can deal with that... Uh, that unit. What we need to do, I was waiting to get the air support. It always seems like you need something. Uh, we're going to need another anti-tank unit, especially with our tank over here currently damaged. That's a problem. Uh, let's put these guys out and see if we can uh, see if we can get these guys destroyed with our bazookas. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, this is looking this is looking all right. We're holding out, guys. Uh, we're currently still 50 and 50%, so nothing's really happening. Uh, we're winning, though, so if we have to play the full, you know, 30 minutes of this match, uh, that'll be fine as well um, because, you know, we'll win. Um, and obviously, that's not optimum. All right, so this truck here is currently just, you know, hoping that that guy there doesn't destroy us. Uh, this guy is currently reversing out of there. Um, can our tank hit him? He might be able to once he... Oh, we're still in a battle with this guy. All right, we'll see if we can win this one. Oh, nice. Awesome. Ammo explosion there. So now our objective is still to get this tank over here destroyed uh, before he destroys my other trucks. We're now falling. We got him falling back now. Awesome. All right, that is excellent. Let's go ahead and start putting some uh, artillery fire on that grenadier over there then. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get this tank destroyed with our uh, bazookas. Let's see if we find a secured spot there. All right, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how this works out here. And he's currently firing on somebody. Oh, he's firing on that, that tank right there. All right, I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah, because we were coming up through this route. 
Uh, looks like we're only fighting one of them, so I'm okay with that. We might be able to win there. I'm not sure why they're retreating. I don't know who is firing at them. Uh, can these guys hit them? I think they can. Yes. So our bazookas are going to attempt to tank that pan take that Panzer three out. Yes. Ammo explosion. Awesome. So we're doing good, guys. Uh, things are looking okay. Got our recon unit over here. Let's us see these units. Uh, let's go ahead and stop firing here. I don't think we can hit them. Oh, we can. Okay. That's fine. We'll keep firing on those grenadiers while we can. Uh, having these scouts here is really helpful. It's letting us see all the, the, the units that are coming over here. Uh, yeah, we'll keep uh, suppressing them. We've got our ammo truck coming in as well to come uh, support us here, which is nice. Uh, where are these guys? What can they currently see? They can only see down this road, but that's fine. We do know that there's another tank unit over here, uh, so that's a problem. Uh, we need to get another infantry unit, so let's get him moving over here. Uh, right here for right now. Now, it seems like we're never going to get that air support, huh? Yes, we have destroyed them. I don't know if it was this uh, rifle uh, squad. Not entirely sure. Uh, now we're taking some firepower from these guys. Let's go ahead and retreat off of the tree line so they won't be able to fire on us anymore. Uh, the only reason why I put them there was to destroy those two units there. We're going to put them into this tree line right here for now. It's not a good position, but, you know, oh, it seems that we're also running low on ammunition here. Uh, well, what we'll do, we'll get the uh, artillery supplied first. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. We'll get the artillery uh, supplied first. Who are we firing on? These guys, is this our infantry firing on them? Yes, it is. All right, let's get the artillery uh, helping them out. Destroy these guys. Uh, but once the artillery is fully supplied, uh, then we will get our uh, our uh, infantry over here supplied. Uh, get them supplied. Oh, never mind. Looks like our allies. I don't know if that's them moving. Okay, they're moving somebody over there. All right, so that's not going to help us just yet. Uh, another tank unit coming over here. Oh, that's not really a tank. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Like some kind of recon type thing. Um, yeah, it's a recon. All right, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, the, well, hmm. Who are they about to fire on? They're firing on somebody. All right, well... Oh, okay, our tank is uh, ready to destroy them. All right, awesome. We might be able to get them destroyed. Uh, they're not very good. I don't even think they can... No, they can't even penetrate our frontal armor. Uh, so yeah, that's that's awesome. So we're still at 50-50%. If we pushed up and took this area here, which we will do once we get the manpower to do, uh, and this guy's back. Damn it. All right, can we get them destroyed? All right, the tank is t uh, the uh, truck here is taking some hits. I wonder if there's any way that we can, if we come over this way, we can uh, get out of their field of fire. All right, so what I think we're gonna do, damn, uh, we're gonna put this guy um, over here, like so, and get these guys trying to destroy them. Uh, the tank's doing it right now. All right, he's coming o going over there with his damaged transmission. Uh, see if we can get that. Uh, that guy destroyed, but I don't know. I don't think that's a tank. I think that's a, a tank destroyer. Uh, they can't hit this truck yet, uh, which is good. Um, what about our artillery? How are they doing on ammunition? All right, they're they're doing okay. Uh, hmm. You know what? We're gonna have to provide some support over here. All right. Yeah, our recon units are currently being attacked. That's not good at all. All right. Well, let's. Uh, damn. Yeah. Our okay. We're gonna have to pull our scouts out. Let's pull the scouts out, guys. Let's have them go over there. Um, get away from these troops here. Yeah, this is uh, not good. All right, what about this tank unit? How are they doing? Why don't you guys come on over here? It looks like they got pushed back. Well, that sucks. All right, how's the uh, artillery doing? 45 of 60 ammunition over here. Okay, that's all right. Uh, and we have this troop here as well. Um, they're currently firing on them, so they'll get them destroyed. Uh, and yeah, a lot of infantry over here. I don't know if they're gonna have any bazookas. I don't think so. No, they don't have any bazookas. We've got more troops coming over here. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a problem here. Um, these guys are now deployed. Let's get them stationed where they have a little bit of, uh, coverage of that road there. Thinking, like, right here would be good. Now we can move our truck back over here as well. Um, they're gonna cover right here. All right, excellent. We now have the points that we need to get our air support finally uh, we're going to get ourselves some lightnings. These are light rockets. Um, you know, good for, you know, all types of, uh, uh, you know, ground units. Uh, so we should have them now. Let's go ahead and make use of them. Uh, where do we want to use them? Well, okay, there's not really anywhere where they're needed just yet. Okay, but that's fine. Uh, I never know how to deselect these, though. <laughs> uh, I guess I got to just select the unit, and that's fine. All right, so we, we're currently engaging these units. This here means that they are a uh, reserve uh, unit, so they're not very good. All right, so let's keep them firing on them. Uh, we'll get up going on slow because there's not really a lot going on right now. Damn. All right, I got a bomber here. Uh, probably about to fuck up one of our units. 
Nothing to be done about it, though. We'll fire on them. We need to get our anti-air. Um, that's what the problem is right now. Yeah, they're about to... Damn. All right, they didn't destroy them, though, so there's that. We need to get our anti-air because, remember, we don't have any fighters. So we're going to need 70 requisition points to get that anti-air over here to uh, assist our units. Make sure that we can uh, at least suppress those. Um, and I think this guy's coming over here to... Oh, he might have already... No, he didn't supply them yet. I think he's coming to supply those guys. So we might not have to do it. Uh, which wouldn't be a problem anyway, because these guys are fully supplied anyway. Yes, they are going to come over here and supply our units. That's one of the few things that your allies will do. Um, other than that, your allies don't really do much. Uh, what do we have? Oh, yes, we got our unit over here. Let's go ahead and get moving forward uh, with them. Get our infantry back over here. Uh, and it seems our truck got destroyed. Damn it. All right, well, that sucks. All right, so let's go ahead and get our anti-air going. I'm going to slow this down a bit. Uh, get the anti-air. Where's that at? All right, we're going to get them moving. Hmm, where would be the best location? I'm thinking, like, right here yeah we're gonna put them right here uh hope we'll be able to cover you know this area uh any planes that come through here uh and we could use let's wait let's wait until we get the infantry over there before we use our our air support there might be somebody over here uh that we have to deal with uh and i'm still thinking i think we're gonna actually put over and go into this building here in fact yeah come on over here uh and empty out your uh your goodies your troops all right excellent so there are some infantry over here um, we can provide a little bit of air support. Uh, no, we can't really see them. All right, and the uh, machine gunners are too far away right now. Okay, uh, so let's get this trunky, truck, trunky, <laughs> this truck emptied out, and then we're gonna put the truck over here. Let's get the troops into the building. Let's get this truck over here, though. It didn't seem to work out well last time we had our truck over here, uh, but they do actually have some infantry support over here now. All right, let's go ahead and get some artillery support uh, over here on these four uh, units. Oh, it seems that we have a couple uh, different units over here. All right. Um, yeah, now they're they're engaging our troops that are in the building, the troops we just put there. Uh, I believe these guys have... No, they do not have the machine gun. Uh, we, I think we get the machine guns in phase B, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so they are really pushing forward over here. This is a bit of a problem. Uh, what we need to do is move our truck up a little bit, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's move our truck up, uh, try and cover this area here with it. This truck's tr uh, transmission is currently damaged, uh, so they're going to be moving a bit slow. I don't know if that's a truck that we want up here helping. Can we get some artillery support on these guys? Yes, we can, but I want it on this one. And we can fire on them. They're close enough. Just barely within our range there. Uh, how are we doing on this side? Everything is good over here. Excellent. Uh, we're still at 50-50. Um, it really does feel like we're in phase B now. Uh, so we're getting 105 points. Uh, so th this should help us. Remember, in phase A, we're really weak. Uh, I think we'll be able to push forward over here on this front very, very soon, guys. Uh, we really feel like we have the numbers. I think we're going to start pushing forward now, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys moving. Uh, we're gonna move our. All, we have all these trucks here uh, that can move forward, uh, and I think we're gonna put these guys. Let me just see where would be a good location. We're gonna put them over. Put them right there. Okay, excellent. Uh, and we do have 145 points now. Let's go ahead and make use of those. I kind of feel like we should get ourselves a better tank. Uh, we don't have the greatest tanks right now. We could also use a bit of uh, off-map artillery as well. Uh, that would be incredibly helpful. I love these rifle companies because they have the machine guns. Very good for defensive positions. Uh, but I think we are going to go with a really good tank unit for right now. Uh, well, we don't have enough to get the, some of our best ones here, which is unfortunate. I almost want to just save up for that. I think we might. Yeah, yeah, let's save up, guys. Although, this one's a leader unit. All right, this one's a leader unit, so let's go ahead and grab them. Um, they do have that benefit. Uh, we'll move them over. You know what? We really need a tank over here. Yeah, so let's move them over to this this side. I was really going to use them for our push that we're currently making forward here. Can we hit those guys? Not yet. Okay, I, I don't know which, which unit that is. I just kind of zoom in here and see. It looks like... Are they air support? They look like uh, uh, anti-air. I think that's what they are. Not entirely sure, though. Uh, and our guys are not in a good position right now. Let's get them moving. Uh, I really want to move them over here. Hmm. Can we fire on them? No, we cannot. Yeah, I kind of want to get them going in the tree lines. There's only four dudes there. I feel like we might be able to win there. Let's see if we can win. Uh, hopefully they don't start firing on us. Currently they're distracted firing on that Jeep. Uh, we'll just see what happens there, guys. Oh, they've already destroyed that Jeep. All right, they destroyed the ammo Jeep. That's unfortunate. Um, hopefully they don't lose all our guys here as they cross the roads. This is really risky. Uh, running across the roads like that. Uh, what are we currently doing over here? Not much. Is our artillery firing on them? Not yet. I think they're actually firing on them. We want them firing on these guys. We've already taken a lot of casualties. Four dudes over here have died. It's really unfortunate, guys. Really unfortunate. I feel terrible for uh, uh, for Settlemeyer and his troops. Uh, I love that it gives you like the face and the name. It's pretty cool. You can also you know click on them here and uh, take a look at all their stats. Um, how do you close it though? 
Okay, there we go. Excellent. Uh, so these guys are, are, are suppressed right now. Uh, they are about to uh, be pinned down, uh, which means they're not going to be able to fire back on them. But our artillery is firing on them. Oh, damn. All right, we lost there. That's unfortunate. All right, we're going to have to bring some troops forward over here. Uh, under the coverage of smoke, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. Let's do a truck. Let's use one of these trucks first. We'll get the truck over here. Um, quickly, please. Go quickly. <laughs> so we got our tank unit. Uh, can we hit them yet? Not yet. Let's go ahead and bring the, the trucks over here. Let's kind of push forward a little bit with our uh, faster units. Yeah, and this tank's going to have to deal with this, this unit here. You know what? Let's move this guy forward as well. I forgot that we had that guy there. All right, so we can see a lot more units moving down over here. Luckily, we have a tank coming to kind of help deal with this. Uh, but if they go down this road, which they might, yeah, our anti-tank's not going to assist us there. I don't think we can actually hit them uh, from here. Maybe. Yeah, we might be able to hit them from that road. I'm not entirely sure. Um, when they come, Oh, we can. Awesome. So hopefully they should start firing on them, although they're not. All right, let's get them firing. Let's force them to. Oop, I had the wrong one, don't I? Oh, that's oh, yeah, I had the wrong one. My bad. All right, let's just stop that. Uh, and can we hit them with this unit? Yes, we can. All right, so they are now firing. Okay, so we have 120 points. Let's go and make use of them. We have a tank coming. Uh, I would like to get one of the really good tanks, but we will wait for that. Uh, instead, I think we should focus on getting that off-map artillery. It is extremely beneficial. Um, so let's go ahead and put them over here for right now. Uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, incredibly helpful for us. We still have our, our uh, air unit. Um, we're not going to have them engage that. You know what? We need them engaged this guy, don't we? Quickly, quickly, quickly. That's an anti-tank unit that's about to destroy our trucks. It's going to destroy our tank. It's going to destroy everything that we have, guys. It's a problem. Um, let's see if we can get them. Can anybody hit them? No, they cannot. All right. Let's see if we can fire on them some way, somehow. Uh, and I think we should probably... I don't know if they can hit us. I don't think so. Let's focus on firing on them. Uh, yeah, this is bad. They could destroy us here any, any moment right now. Let's have these guys. Can they hit them? No, they cannot. All right, so our trucks are currently firing on these infantry here, trying to push back into the tree line, guys. We've got them pinned down. Uh, let's just put this on bullet because i got to figure out where I want to move. I have my artillery fire on. I'm tempted to do this way. Uh, you know what? We are going to do that way because we just don't have the number of troops over there that we have over here right now. Um, so, yes, we have these two pinned down. Let's go ahead and move forward. Uh, maybe we can get those two to surrender. Uh, the truck is falling back. He's taking too, much, too many hits uh, from the anti-tank over there. Um, he's still not firing on these guys just yet. All right, let's go ahead and put that very slow. Uh, our plane is coming here momentarily. Let's get it on slow. See what they do to them. Come on, come on. Oh, and this is, remember, this is the air support over here, the anti-air. Awesome. We've pinned them down. Excellent. Maybe we can get over there and get them destroyed while they're currently pinned down and falling back. I don't know, though. Uh, we do not have a, a, a field of fire on them. Okay, we're not going to be able to destroy them with these trucks either. Yeah, this is the problem. Uh, I have no way to deal with that right now. Um, you know what? What are these guys currently doing? Oh, okay. Fire on them. Fire on them. Uh, we also have a, uh, a recon unit over here. Um, it looks like we had somebody destroyed. Uh, who? 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 The tank? No. Oh, one of the trucks. One of the trucks just was destroyed. Uh, this truck has already forced these ones to surrender over here. Uh, I'm currently firing on that Jeep right now. Uh, let's get our infantry moving into the tree line. Uh, we're going to bring these guys into the back here. Uh, give them a little bit of a uh, uh, leadership bonus there. All right, awesome. Uh, seeing a lot of... I just love the bullet time, guys. It's so beautiful. Um, even if it is my truck currently being blown up, it's still... It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, not going to be able to do anything with... Yeah, I can't do anything with any of these guys just yet. All right, let's go ahead and move back. Uh, we're currently... I can't see the time. My, my uh, recording software is currently blocking. I don't really want to mess with it right now. Where I'll mess up the recording or something like that. So I can't see... Uh, how much time we have left, but we know we're in phase B, um, so it's still a lot of time left of the episode. Uh, what I'm thinking we're probably going to end up doing is, this is probably going to be two parts, um, because I'm playing so fucking slow. <laughs> uh, but if I don't, guys, um, it is, it's not good. Uh, and we got our, our off-map uh, artillery coming as well, where are they at? Right here. Alright, we don't, we're not close enough just yet. I uh, got this tank unit coming on over here uh, to kind of support us. Um, in this range here, and I feel like we have to. We got just too many units here um, that need to be dealt with. You know what? I kind of feel like we should just move across. I know it's not as quick, uh, but yeah, I feel like we need to get over here and support them. Um, not going to be close enough. All right, let's move them over here. Uh, in this uh, truck unit, let's get him moving over here. Hopefully not be able to get attacked. Actually, he could be attacked if we put him right there. We'll put him right over here. Yeah, not able to hit anybody, unfortunately, right here. Um, this anti-tank gun. I still think it's probably the best location for us right now, though. 
Uh, we do, we destroyed somebody, a machine gunner. Awesome. Uh, we got a little bit of uh, money. Let's go and get a spent, or, you know, points, requisition points, I should say. Uh, but I uh, can't get any of the really good tanks that I want, so I think we're going to save it, guys. I would also like to get the medium rocket. That would be nice as well. Uh, another plane. Uh, but that's even more points. Uh, so we're going to wait. We're going to hold on to our points for now. Uh, I want to get one more tank. One more tank to help push forward on this side. We just don't have enough. We do have our allies coming over here to help us, though. Um, oh, these guys have bailed out. Oh, we don't even have a tank over here. I didn't even realize that, guys. All right, well, we're firing on them. Uh, looks like we have them falling back as well. Uh, ooh, these guys are taking uh, casualties over here. Uh, let's get them moving over this way. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, if they keep moving, our infantry can get them destroyed. All right, um, and our tank could do it as well if they come over this way. Let's get that tank moving for a bit. Um, I'm not entirely sure which way they're going. It looks like they're going to come this way. That's going to be a problem uh, if they come over in this direction. Uh, they'll be able to destroy that tank. Um, oh, nice. That's, that's or I said nice. That's not a good thing. Um, let's, let's move forward a bit more so we can maybe get those guys destroyed. I don't have any other answer for them right now. There we go. Get them destroyed. Hopefully we can do it, guys. I can't even see what his ratings are just yet. Awesome. All right, so we've got him destroyed. Um, that's nice. Uh, what is our uh, artillery doing right now? I don't think they're firing on anybody. There's not really anybody for them to fire on. They could fire on that one guy there. And you know what? We will. That one dude against two. Remember, we don't really have the numbers over here either. I feel like we need to get more infantry. Uh, I know we're waiting for the tanks, but we really do need more infantry, guys. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves some machine guns this time, though. And it might help us secure this, this road a little bit better if we had the machine guns with the range. All right, so we're holding out. Uh, still 50-50. We're still setting 194 points. Really, we're just not we're not pushing forward fast enough. I have a feeling like our allies uh, might be stalled out in some of these areas. Yeah, they've already been pushed back here, I think, a little bit. Um, not too much, though. Uh, over here, they're not really doing anything, um, it seems. But I, I think that that's where we're going to win on because I don't see any enemy there. Um, over here, looks like it's a stalemate. Uh, they could push for, further on this side. That might be where we're going to get that percentage uh, so that we'll actually start ticking our points up again. Uh, but it looks like that we might be winning this by a timed uh, one, which is all right, but it does obviously take quite a while uh, to win that way. All right, so these guys are currently still firing on them. Let's go ahead and have them stop. Uh, conserve your ammunition. Uh, we still have quite a bit of ammunition, ammunition in our ammunition truck. Uh, this guy is not going to be close enough to anything. We're going to have to move them up further. Uh, let's get them moving over here with the rest of our artillery. Uh, yeah, but I love the off-map artillery. So powerful, guys. So powerful. Uh, so, yeah, this tank can't do anything because they're bailed out. I, I don't know what happens when you have a bailed out uh, tank, actually. Because, uh, uh, to my imagination, means that the, the infantry have left the tank. So, therefore, they can no longer fight. Uh, but, I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, so, do we want to wait to get the jumbos? Or do we want to continue with the uh, M4 Alpha 3s? I think we will, guys. Let's just go with the M4 Alpha 3s. We need to get a tank over here, like stat. So let's get that tank moving um, so that we can try and push forward on this front. Uh, I don't really feel comfortable doing it with just some uh, some uh, some trucks. Or one truck, excuse me. We only have one truck left. I forgot we lost all the other trucks. We do have this one as well, and we have this guy over here. Um, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to send this truck over here. They'll kind of help out over here once we push forward. Uh, we have a Carmel 5 that's kind of helping push forward as well, so that's helpful. Um... Okay, that's not ours. I was about to say, do we have troops still in trucks right now? Because then we got to fix that. Uh, we could also push forward on this front, and I'm really tempted to do so. Um, you know what? I think we are going to do that. Let's get our troops coming over here. I'm going to put the infantry over into this one. Our, uh, our officers, I mean. All right, so we're pushing forward over here. Uh, I don't know how well that advancement's going to work. Still got the tanks over here on this side of things. Um, they're firing on those guys. That's a problem. I don't know if we can hit them. We can. Um, so I, we might actually destroy them with those infantry. Let's see... Where we'd have to, if we just move, just come on over here and, and fire on them. See if we can get that tank to destroy them. Just in case they can't do it. Uh, we, do, we just don't know if they'll be able to succeed. Okay, they're already falling back. We don't want them to fall back. We want them destroyed, though. Oh, there's another tank over here. Okay, we need to fire on this one. All right, it's fine. Oh, damn. They got us. They got us with their own bazookas. All right, what are we going to do now? Um, we have our tank unit over here. I think he's going to have to move. Uh, this way. Yeah, he's got to come over here and help us uh, fight this these, these tanks that are coming up this this road here. Uh, let's go and get a little bit of artillery support on these guys. Uh, we have our off-map artillery. I'm really tempted to use it over here. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves, uh, I'm thinking probably uh, an emergency one. This is, you know, a medium uh, area that it fires on. Uh, let's put them like, like so. 
All right, excellent. Uh, so should get some uh, firepower on the onto those guys. The very very deadly that artillery firepower. I could have put it over here as too. I was tempted to, um, but yeah, I decided not to. Can we hit them? No, we cannot. All right, well let's go ahead and fire on them because they're going to be moving out of the, the uh, area soon. They're not going to get fired on. Um, well, they actually, if they engage our infantry here, then that might be just what we need. All right, it looks like we're firing on them as well. All right, yeah, we can see them from here. Well, that's not good. I didn't realize you could see our artillery from right here. Huh. Oh, wow, that's a problem. Okay. Um, well, we're currently firing on them, so we're going to wait, but we're going to get them moving. We will move this one, in fact. I don't want them getting fired on. Can't, I don't want those artillery destroyed. Need them close to the front, obviously, for their range. Uh, but, you know, we don't want them destroyed. That obviously would be good. Uh, where's those tanks at? Oh, we have more infantry coming as well. Excellent. Definitely need those guys on this front. We lost those troops over here again. Pretty much anybody who gets put onto this this house here, uh, they die, uh, which is bad. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and stop this, guys. Um, break this into two parts because it is a longer match. You know, the matches aren't supposed to take this long, but, you know, we're playing on very slow. We're playing on slow. Uh, so it is going to go a little bit slower, guys, but I really enjoy being able to see this, this match this way and watch it unfold. Uh, this is the way I like kind of playing this. And plus... Uh, I'm also playing a little bit slower than I usually do um, because I usually play more on slow rather than very slow. But like I said, I haven't played this game in like a long time. So I'm still kind of trying to get, yeah, it's been like, I don't know, like a month since I really played it extensively. So I'm trying to get used to the hotkeys and all that stuff again uh, and just, you know, playing the game. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I'm really loving playing this game. Uh, and I hope you guys come back for part two of this skirmish uh, where we're going to finish it up and hopefully win. It looks like we're winning right now. Uh, we're going to be pushing forward as we get our tanks uh, onto the front. We're going to start pushing forward, guys, uh, and attempt to uh, get the uh, enemy destroyed. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. I uh, hope you guys leave a comment uh, what you're thinking of, what you thought of the video and the way I did it. I, I welcome all feedback, negative or positive. Uh, also, those comments, uh, even if you're just saying, hey, I enjoyed it, uh, those comments do help with the search engine. So, uh, you know, I, and I, I just enjoy talking to you guys as well. You know, I, I try to reply to all comments. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.